Bleeding in early pregnancy can feel absolutely terrifying and when the pregnancy is the result of IVF, that fear becomes overwhelming. But after 40 years in IVF, I want to reassure you, first trimester bleeding is common, often harmless and does not automatically mean miscarriage. In fact, nearly one in four women bleed during the first trimester, whether they conceived naturally or through IVF. So please don't jump to the worst conclusion. There's a common myth that IVF pregnancies are more fragile. They aren't. An embryo doesn't know whether it came from a lab or a bedroom. Once it implants, it follows the same biological rules as every other pregnancy. So don't blame IVF and definitely don't blame yourself. Most early bleeding comes from the uterus lining, the cervix, or from something called a subchorionic hematoma, which sounds scary, but it's basically a tiny bruise inside the uterus. It happens when small blood vessels break as the placenta attaches. The blood then slowly leaks out as spotting or even a sudden gush. It looks dramatic, but most of the time it doesn't harm the baby, doesn't need treatment, and resolves completely on its own. The best way to know if your baby is safe is not by analyzing the color or quantity of bleeding, but by doing an ultrasound. If the skin shows a heartbeat, normal growth, a stable gestational sac, and maybe a small clot on the side, then your pregnancy is usually doing perfectly fine, even if the bleeding continues for days. And here's the blunt truth that most clinics won't tell you, no medicine stops this kind of bleeding. Progesterone doesn't fix broken blood vessels. Bed rest doesn't dissolve clots. Vitamin injections don't seal anything. These hematomas heal naturally. Doctors don't fix them, nature does, and she's pretty good at her job. Bleeding does not automatically mean miscarriage. Some women bleed and go on to carry a perfectly healthy baby. Some never bleed and still miscarry. Bleeding is a clue, not a verdict. What matters is the ultrasound, not the amount of blood you see. Of course, there are times when bleeding needs urgent attention, if it is heavy, soaking pads, associated with severe cramps, fever, fainting, or shoulder pain. But mild bleeding, with a reassuring scan, is usually nothing to panic about. I know that after IVF, every drop of blood feels like the universe is crashing down. IVF involves money, time, injections, hormones, hope, and years of emotional investment. So when you see blood, your brain immediately screams, what if we're losing everything again? That fear is real. But fear is not a diagnosis. So if you are bleeding right now, take a breath. Most first trimester bleeding is harmless. Most subchorionic hematomas resolve naturally. And most IVF pregnancies with early bleeding still succeed. And if you're confused or panicking, you don't have to go through this alone. You can upload your reports to my free IVF chatbot and get instant, unbiased guidance based on my 40 years of experience. Without anyone trying to sell you a package. Let's replace fear with clarity.